We're at Continental Machining. I'm here with Edgar. We're standing in front of a Matsura MX330 PC10. And Edgar, man, I gotta know, how is it running this piece? Let's dig into it. So, how long have you been running this machine? Uh, about six months now. Okay, how long have you been here at Continental Machine? Just over a year. And you're running this machine? Yeah. He must really trust you. <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's a lot. <laughs> so, coming in, I mean, you've only been here on this machine six months, so yeah. you're six months in with them. They throw you on the five axis, so you must have a lot of five axis background then. Not really. What? Come from a three axis. Three Come axis from a three axis yeah. background. Yeah. And now you're here yeah. running their newest, most expensive machine. Yeah. That's Are how you how kidding me? Yeah. Right, it's a come true. <laughs> Especially in the manufacturer. Have, can I have a boss like that? There you go. You gotta reach out to them, apply, you know? <laughs> so you you have a three axis background. Now you're rocking it here. You're the top producer on their machine for the Matsura. What is it like getting used to the control then? Uh, the control, well, of course now they're a little bit more modern. Yeah. Um, this does run on Fanic control okay. uh, with their own interface, but it's pretty intuitive. Uh, gives you notes, whatever button you click. Uh, yeah. What it does, so it's pretty straightforward. It's yeah. the program, programming side that we need a little bit more uh, in tune with, more tool paths, more uh, more strategies since you have more axes. It's coming from the three axes, right? Yeah. Um, but it's pretty straightforward with so long as you have the basic principles. And if not, Mazura, reach out to Mazura Productivity. Yeah. Like step by step, if you have any hangups or anything you need. Really? Reach out. So how is it getting a hold of them then? Easy. Just really? Call them, email them, and they respond fairly quickly. Of course, we got the local rep. If not, they put you in touch with either the engineer or yeah. uh, since this one does run off of uh, uh, PQI is the touch off. Either or, they put you in contact with whichever uh, specific. Okay. So it makes sure you get in contact with the right people depending on where you're kind of stopped. Have they ever had to get over to Japan to get you an answer? No. Yeah. Okay, that's awesome. So they're Love able them. to take care of it all right here Correct. in America. Yes. Awesome. So we're talking the automation of the PC-10. You, not only did, we, did you get thrown into five axis world, you got thrown into pallet pool world too. Yeah. How is it integrating the pallet pool with the workflow? It's awesome. Like you would think it's purely product, for, like for production. Yeah. But it's nice because you can do a pallet pool. So we do a lot of uh, one-offs, two-offs, small batch runs, like this small batch run. Yeah. Uh, but it's nice because you can just pull up the next pallet. You have different work holding, different fixturing, yeah. um, you name it. So I can do one op and one one uh, setup, two ops or whatever. But let's just say we have a hot job. Yeah. We got to put it all to the side. It's easy to swap out the pallet, put it back in, and you're setting up a whole new job. Yeah, I really wish I would have had a pallet pull when I was still on the shop floor because those hot jobs always meant the setup I spent four hours on had to get wiped off the table and put exactly. away. So you don't have to worry about that anymore. Yeah, especially with all the tool changes, 90 tools. That uh, is a nice amount of tools. Yeah, so we can just keep going. Very cool. Thank you so much, Edgar. Thank you.